In the wake of tax season, you must be looking forward to having the pressure to get your return filed and even more eagerly toward your tax refund. If it's a big one, you might have your eye on replacing your old car with something new or at least newer. After watching the government take a piece of your paycheck each month for an entire year, it's about time you got a little back for your own use to buy what you want to buy. After all, it's your money. There's no reason you shouldn't use your tax refund for a bad credit auto loan. You're well aware of the fact that bad credit puts you at a disadvantage in getting approved for loans and forces you to pay higher interest rates. While more people with bad credit are being approved for auto loans than had been prior to 2000, the interest rates that can come with a bad credit car loan can push your dreams of a new car out of reach. Putting aside some of your paycheck to make a sizable down payment can offset higher loan costs and make your bad credit car loan not feel quite as bad as you were expecting. Your willingness to make a healthy down payment shows a potential lender that you're committed to risking a chunk of your own funds in the investment. Taking some of the burden of financial risk off the shoulders of the lender may then lead to lower interest rates. By taking a bite out of the amount you were planning on borrowing, you also reduce the balance on which you will be paying interest and reduce your monthly payments. If you're borrowing $20,000, making a down payment of $4,000 means you'll only be paying interest on $16,000 over the term of the loan. The more you can pay up front, obviously, the more money you can save on interest payments. April 15th gives you a good opportunity to use your tax refund as a means to rebuilding your credit through a bad credit car loan. Although your car loan agreement will cause your credit rating to dip slightly in the beginning, fulfilling the obligations of the loan will substantially improve your credit rating. But in anticipation of that tax deduction, certain preparers may encourage you to enter into a very different loan agreement to get that money in your hands quicker. A fashionable product among some taxpayers is the Refund Anticipation Loan, or RAL. Often marketed to employed people with lower incomes, this loan is not like a car loan, but is related more to a payday loan carrying with it very high interest rates. For those who offer RALs, these are treated as high-risk, short-term loans subject to interest rates that can go into triple digits. Though the companies that offer these sorts of loans promise that they'll put the money in your hands quicker than you will get them from the government. But IRS refunds rarely take longer than 10 business days to reach taxpayers from the time of filing. E-filing reduces that weight even more. The high interest rates that come with RALs might not make too serious an impact if you receive your loan promptly from the government. But what if your refund is smaller than you expected or non-existent? When you agree to an RAL, you agree to borrow an amount of money that your tax preparer estimated you get based on the tax information you've given him. There's no guarantee that your tax preparer is on the same page as the Internal Revenue Service, and getting less than you anticipated has some very expensive consequences. With an RAL, the tax preparer hands you your loan check, but the money comes from a bank or other funding resource with which the lender routinely does business, acting as a middleman between them and you. Your refund check, however, goes to you, and it's up to you to put that money in the hands of the originator of the loan, with interest. If that check turns out to be smaller than you were expecting, you need to dip into your personal savings to repay the loan. And it's important to repay that loan as quickly as possible because that monstrous interest rate is pushing what you owe higher with each passing week. When it comes to waiting for your refund, exercising a little patience can save you a great deal of your hard-earned money. Think about it for a moment. The few days you save between getting an RAL and your actual refund check is just not worth the chances you're taking with huge amounts of interest sitting on your shoulders. Besides, why fork over a portion of your own money to get what's already yours? After all, you should be the one to make your own decisions about where your money goes and use that tax refund for a bad credit car loan and not to pay off a bad loan deal from your tax guy. And remember, here at Federal Auto Loan, we have a nationwide network of lender and dealer affiliate partners that specialize in helping people with bad credit get the auto loans they need. So consider applying with us. Our application is safe, secure, and free. We may be able to help you get the tax refund auto loan you're looking for. Federal Auto Loan, good credit, Bad credit, no credit, all good.